In this video, we will learn how to use debug to create house plan quickly. In debug, at first you will have to choose scale from here. They have provided different scale. I will choose this one as to 50. Then to create straight walls, you will have to tick here to make the wall straight. Then from here you can choose different wall thickness. I will choose this thickness 25. This is actually 25 centimeter, that is 250 mm. And from here you can choose your desired color for walls. I will take this yellow. Then first command in debug is wall. It is very important that you create the walls using this wall command so that you can use other command which depend on this wall command. Click on wall. Give the first point, then give the direction where you want to go. Then here you can give the length or you can also click here to define the length. Suppose I will give length of 12. Here below you can view that the input has been shown. Then press enter. Here wall of 12 length is created. And if you want to switch the side of the wall, press F5. Using F5, you can switch wall side. Then again, give direction, give the length. And I will directly close it here. Here you will see that corners are trimmed automatically. Suppose I want to create walls from midpoint. Click on the midpoint, click on other midpoint. Same way I want to create vertical wall from this mid to here. If you want to clear this intersection portion, they have provided here intersection tool. Click on it and select any one wall. It will automatically clear the intersection of two walls. Then to stop the command, right click, it will stop the command. And if you want to ship this wall by some distance, then you can use this tool, stretch area. Click on it, zoom here, give the first point, give the second point, include the wall to be shifted inside the box. Then give the base point, give the direction and specify the distance. Suppose I want to move it by the gap of 1.5. Enter. This wall is shifted properly. Then if you want to create wall of different thickness, from here you can change the thickness. Suppose I want wall of thickness 15. Suppose I want to create next wall parallel to this wall at some specified distance. Then for that you can use this tool called parallel wall. Click on it. Then specify the distance. Suppose I want a gap of 1 meter, enter, then select the line of the wall from which you want to define the gap, then click the point on which side you want to create that wall. Now this is the first point for the location, then you will have to define the thickness side also. If I click on this side, wall will be created on this side and if I click on this side, wall will be created on this side. Suppose I want this clear distance of 1 meter, therefore I will click here, so wall will be created on this side. Now suppose I want to create a parallel wall of 25 centimeter size, then again you will have to change thickness from here, take thickness 25, again click on parallel wall, give the gap, suppose I want gap to be 1 meter, enter, select this line, click on this side and again click on this side. Now again I want to create wall of 15 cm. Again change size from here to 15. Then click on parallel wall. Then give the gap of 2. Enter. Click on this line. Click below. Click below. Then I want one more wall here at distance of 1 meter. Again parallel wall. Give the gap of 1. Enter. 
click on this line click below click below now I don't need this wall you can erase the wall using this erase tool here click on it select the wall right click it will erase the wall using erase tool you can erase any wall just by selecting one line and right click right click to stop the erase tool if you want to place the columns or pillars from here you can place the pillars click on it then define the insertion point suppose I want to place it here so I will take this point as an insertion point then define the size of the pillar by ticking here you can define the distance from the wall you click on ok then take your bottom insertion point on the first wall click on the first wall click on the second wall it will automatically place the pillar then if I want to place the same pillar on this side and I want to change the insertion point then you just have to press shift and click you can watch that the insertion point has been changed again click here on this line and this line it has placed pillar here in this way you can place the pillar of desired size right click right now I don't need this pillar I will just undo them now here actually I will need more space for entry so I can use this stretch area to shift this complete portion on this side click on stretch area define first point define second point give the first base point give the direction give the distance of 1 meter so in this way if you make some mistake you can very easily stretch the area and adjust it then I want to create opening here to create any opening you can use the joinery tool you can use joinery tool to create door window wardrobes I will choose here door opening and here I will give the size of 0.8 ok take your cursor here and once it shows the point click there it will create that opening then right click to stop joinery command again right click to open the joinery command now I want to place double door click on this double door now this portion defines the location of door in wall thickness and this portion defines the location of door in wall suppose I want door at center of the wall thickness and I want it in the center in the wall I will keep this point it as it is ok then click where you want to place it and if you want to switch it inside take your cursor on the inside wall it will automatically switch the side and it has automatically snapped to the middle of the wall and click here we can watch that the frame has been placed at the center of the wall thickness and the door has been placed in the center of the wall then I want to place single door right click again right click and click on this single door suppose I want to place them on the exterior of the wall thickness and I want to place them at some distance so by clicking on this fixed distance you can specify the distance suppose I want distance to be 0.1 click on OK and as you take it near to the wall it will automatically snap to that point and it will place the door here the frame has been aligned with the exterior of the wall again here I want to place one door and here also then here I want to place smaller doors right click right click I want door to be of 0.7 and I want it on the center ok and click in this way you can place the door quickly then right click now I want to place the windows for that I want window with different color from here change the color 
then right click and choose window suppose I want window seal I want to place it at the center of wall thickness I want it at the center center inside then I want two number of slices and I want bigger window therefore I will give length of 1.5 here ok then take your cursor on the wall and click it will quickly place the windows at desired position it will automatically snap to the center of the wall and it is in the center in this way you can place the windows at desired position then if you want to place furniture they have given number of ready made blocks click here on insert block then click on file click here on object 2d suppose I want to place furniture click on this furniture I want to place bed then select the bed suppose I want this double one ok then click on ok suppose I want to place bed here to rotate the object press shift and click it will automatically rotate and then give the position where you want to place it then one more bed here shift and click and play, give the point right click then to increase the scale of this bed you can use this scale command select the bed right click then give the base point I will give this midpoint and increase the scale as per your requirement and click same way here scale select the object right click give the base point and increase the scale then I want to write down text here for that I will choose some color then click on this A then write down your text suppose living room then give the height of the text ok and click then right click change the name so kids bedroom ok click right click kitchen ok right click bedroom master bedroom ok right click cancel in this way you can write down the text in this way you can use debug cat to create your plans quickly Thanks for watching, we will stop here.